technology that I encountered in the classroom was the projector. Now, you may or may not know this, but the projector that was used before 2010, I believe, before the current digital projector was this hunk of metal. Now, this old buddy made the loudest godforsaken noise when it was being dragged around on its little metal supporter. It was exceptionally heavy, God forbid it be dropped on someone's foot, because let's be honest, health insurance is more than just peanuts. Now, as time progressed, I noticed that the amount of technology that was being incorporated in the educational environment was stretched far beyond the single projector that I was used to seeing. There were certainly changes to the academic world that followed the breakthrough of the technological world, but the question is, how exactly did this breakthrough play into 21st century education? Let's start by addressing how technology has improved the academic world and education. Technology, or the internet to be more exact, has provided us with a plethora of mediums of connectivity. I think it's safe to say that this could be one of the most prevalent enhancements of technology to education. Globalized interaction and connectivity. Social networking sites and other forms of technology connect students to people around the world. Students are able to reach out to persons from entirely different continents, stretching beyond the physical interactions that can be made from a strictly regional radius. A striking example can be found in the Very Asia Institutes program. The World Scholar Talks, directed by Professor Emmanuel Pastranch himself. Now this program uses Google Hangout to connect students in Korea or any other country that wish to join to connect with professors across the country such as Professor Francis Fukuyama, Professor Alexis Dutton, Professor Richard Bush, and several other professors. Now this kind of social and academic interaction was made only because of technology and only because this is the 21st century. Now obviously, it's remarkable what technology has provided us with. That's not an opinion, it's an indisputable fact. But for every good, there's a bad. And in this case, technology bears the repercussions of social and experimental limitations. See, there are certain byproducts of direct interaction between a student and teacher or peers that just can't be replicated <coughs> by a screen. First of all, a classroom environment is the f provides much more than what comes out of the pages of a textbook, or in this case, the screen of a computer. It's the first real social environment that a student partakes in. In fact, the U.S. National Library of Medicine and National Institutes of Health released an article comparing the social skills of students prone to technology and students without technology. The article stated that there was a significant difference between the social skills of students open to, open to computer use and normal students without computers. Now, in being a part of a social group that's deemed as a classroom, students build relationships. They can learn social skills such as responsibility, cooperation, communication skills, and so much more. A computer can't provide students with such an experience. It's a passive entity, one where feelings and attitude aren't reciprocated. It's impossible to get a nod of appreciation, a smile of encouragement, or even an applause of admiration. The one-way inner communication between a person and a machine. It's a relationship built merely on clicks and buttons. Hearing and responding to an opinion, that's the kind of interaction that builds critical thinking and intuition. I mean, come on, look at this. This wasn't made from a computer. This is the result of a direct interaction from child to child. There's no technology involved. The students of the 21st century are the children of a globalized and hyper-connected world. Technology is inevitable in any corner of this society. It has redefined experiences of students around the world by providing a global connection that connects people out of physical reach. But it comes with limitations. Some things are irreplaceable, and technology hinders the development of these social aspects. But ultimately, these are what comprise the new frontiers for 21st century education, and this is what the 21st century has brought to education. Thank you.